Right. <coughs> well, hello everyone and welcome to the um, beta release of the Resident Evil 1.5 project. Well, as you can see on this there, going down to Resident Evil 2, because anyone smart enough for those, this would have been Resident Evil 2. Now, the original part of it was in Japanese. As you can see, the team project, they've uh, translated the um, menu into English. So options, load game, new games. I won't bother with the options and load game. They kind of speak for themselves. Um, but if you, what you have noticed, they have kept the original eye design from the Resident Evil 1.5. Right, so shall we hit a new game, shall we? Yes. Now, what we seem to have here is a character select screen. Um, what does that imply? Possibility that this game is going to be on one disc if you've got a cast that screen because everyone, mem everyone remembers with Resident Evil 2 that there was um, two discs, one for each character. But seeing that there's um, two, two characters here, I do believe they'll be in one disc. Right, so let's just take a look at, um, well we all know who Leon is, so let's just take a look at Elsa Walker. The character which Claire Redfield replaced. Um, due to thing because they wanted to do the ongoing storyline with um, Chris and that as, as you can see there's no formal introduction at the moment but hey you're straight in game now just straight off the bat uh, this feels a lot faster than Resident Evil um, 2 in both the American and the um, normal UK releases it's actually really quite quick if you actually turn around and you see she's going at quite a speed here Right, and we go back over here. It still uses the same sort of thing. Oh, zombies. Not as detailed as the ones in Resident Evil 2, but hey, they were working with what they had. Um, let's see if we can get the infantry screen. Oh, yeah, there's, a, there's actually a debug menu in this as well. And for some reason, I can't get the infantry screen. Nice. Well, let's just go exploring around for a moment. Uh, so, as, as you see, they basically had to use um, elements of C and to get a lot of the game repaired. Um, a lot of that element in being um, the menus were broken and still in Japanese and a lot of um, other stuff um, weren't, weren't running properly. The items didn't have descriptions. And hey, look, we have our first zombie. Hey, he's actually moving quite quick. I'll give him that. As we go. Oh, get off, get off, get off, get off. Right. So if we're moving away. Yeah, see he's getting a bit clunky now. So we're still having a look. A pool of blood on the floor. Hmm. Always a sure thing. It's probably the door to the restroom. Yeah, because I think right about now when it comes to zombies, you'd want to be crapping yourself. There must be a key somewhere. Right. Let's go see if we can find it. Now the one uh let's, sorry I bothered you, okay. This is trying to make me believe that um there was a sort of cutscene part here or a part here, but currently at this point in time, I'm getting chewed and murdered. And I just don't seem to have a gun. Oh. Ah, off. He's not letting me past. So that's it. I'm going to make a rubber. And as you can see, the it does have glitches. Uh, sometimes the camera angles are not swapping. Like I say, this is a pre alpha. They are still putting things together in this. Right, now we've managed to change the screen, we should be able to run past it. Yes, here we go. Um, but all in all, the layout of the police station is very different uh, to the original Resident Evil 2. Um, so, they're going to let us get out. Nope. Oh, no, sorry, take that back. And we're back outside again. <sighs> Fun this, isn't it? And we now seem to be in an outside place. Oh, now we seem to be on a box. We're on a box. And again, where things are not quite going, you have a look, the door isn't working. So, trying to find a way off and around here is a major scale pain in the butt. Um, come on, come on. Yeah, like I said, this is the downside to this. It gets locked up and bugged up very easily. Um, I can't seem to find a way to get down. Yeah, 
But as you can see just from this, this is just a technical demo side of it working. So to me, the game looks like it can be completed. Um, they like I said, they've been able to use C++ to reinstigate a lot of the game features. Why I can't access the menu is beyond me. Alright, so, oh, can I actually, can I actually jump somewhere else? See, and now we, oh, that's quite handy because we've actually jumped to another part of the game. This seems interesting, if you ask me. So we're going to have a wander around, and print it around here, and have a look. Yeah, it just seems to be another part of the um, city on this one. Well, let's have a jump so we get back into the police station. Corridor for you. There it goes. Jump to Chief Irons' office. Um, Brian Irons was a character in this one. Um, and ooh, this actually seems a lot more impressive than the um, other one. And if you actually notice here where I've been bitten by the zombie, I now have damage on my back. So, yeah. Physical damage was shown. This was a feature that was obviously removed. Oh, got some glitching going on here. Oh, look, we got there. A very compressed Brian Irons. Yeah. Like I say, the game is still glitchy and they're still working on odds and ends. He's kind of appearing and disappearing. Oh, yeah, look. He's like a little fat pulp guy, seriously. Let's have a look somewhere else. Um, Heliport. Yeah, let's, let's go to the heliport. But as as you see, they've managed to repair quite a bit with this. Uh oh, I've got bird trouble. I don't really want to deal with this. Firing range. Now, you, you notice that the police station, judging by this, I'm imagining that this is the police station on this one, is very, very different. Um, if you have a true fuzzy, it's got a few more features than something you would expect in a police station. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. I know most American police stations have firing ranges. And there's a driver here. Will I take it? Uh, yeah, might as well. And, ooh, zombie dogs. Let's go somewhere else for now. Garage B. Right, let's have a look. Oh, there seems to be something on the floor here. Yay, yay for item success. Oh, now I seem to be able to. <laughs> Again, like we say, it's still very, very glitchy. But the thing, the thing I'm doing just by looking around these various sort of things, I am actually getting the feel of a police station. I really kind of didn't get the feel um, back in Resident Evil 2 of a police station. Um, it, it just didn't feel like it. And now we seem to be going somewhere else. Yeah. yeah I never got the feeling of a police station inside Resident Evil uh, 2. Uh, let's just go to utility menu. If we can. No, can't access the utility menu. And you know, if you want to stab with it. Jump to here. Yeah. Um, but this seems to have. Oh, look, prisons. You tell me it's got prison. Yeah, look, jail. Look, jail cells. Seriously. Yeah? This reminds me a lot more of a police station. Jump 101 to a mirror room. Okay. Uh, now, this looks familiar um, to a lot of things. This actually does look like something from the original Resident Evil 2, because I remember they used a room similar to this. Uh, see lobbies, lobby corridor. Uh. But to me, what does that mean to me? I reckon they can, they can repair this game. Um, they've shown that they can get the, they've got the menus up and working. They're getting important stuff. I do believe they're using stuff from Resident Evil Two. So can they get the game running again as it was? I'm saying possibly yes. I reckon they could get the game running. Right, let's see if we can stab the zombie. Yeah, um, can can it be can it be brought back to its full potential for being a fully playable game? Why not? Um, apparently, all the sound files are still there. Ow, and I've died. Hmm, the, the death scene seems to be a little bit quicker on this one. And hey, we're back to the normal sort of cam logo. Right, just for a laugh, let's get back into the game if we can, please. Thank you. Right, let's go back to the new game. Um, can they repair this game? Sorry, I got a bit off track there. I do reckon with their knowledge of C and various other things, I do reckon they can get this game up and running to a degree where it can be playable. 
and you could virtually play the whole game. And then all the fans of the Resident Evil series can play the original um, game back in the way it was supposed to be. Mm. Yeah. And then they can see, oh, birds, I don't like birds. Right. So they're trying to tell me that Leon may start somewhere else. Mm. Could be a point where it was um, possibly split again, so... Oh, I've got straight back to the heliport again. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, yeah, could could it be that they, they split up the same way? Very good possibility. Uh, let's have a look to see what we can find amongst this mess. Um, yeah. No, nothing seems to be in here. But this is a very good show, and I do wish the guys who are busy reprogramming this at the moment the best of luck in bringing this game back. I want to play this. I want to play a lost chapter in Resident Evil history, especially where you see Resident Evil 6 has been on, on a decline from the survival horror. It's not a survival horror no more. It's really not. Um, as a survival horror game, it sucks. There you go. We we'll take the nine over. And see, it doesn't go to the um, doesn't go to the um, infantry screen either. So you could carry on about it. It doesn't hinder and have to keep going back and forth all the time. So there's another little um, fact there. And I've, I've got another door here. Um, yeah, Resident Evil Six as an action game, it's not bad. It it passes well as an action game. As a survival horror game, no, I don't really think it stands out as a survival horror game. It's just a typical action game with zombies now. Oh god. I've found a door. Which I can't seem to open. <laughs> oh, this is joy. I've got a thing on in part of the game where I can't get through. Let's go to the office block instead. Ooh, spooky the lights around. So yeah, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep track on this uh, project for the um, site so people can see everything that's going on and then basically just watch the development of this game. Um, so please uh, come, please uh, stick with the site, um, rmifusion.com. Um, and as um, more updates of this game come out, I will um, conclude them in for you and keep you in progress on how well the game is doing. Oh look, there's a zombie that just got out. Well, let's conclude with, let's conclude with a shooting. Oh, okay. Leon had to reload twice then. <laughs> so yeah, still a lot of bugs to go. Oh, he got up pretty quick. Okay, this is Tony signing out, and I will see you all soon.